After fake Catholic Joe Biden announced his new wicked mandate demanding 80 million Americans get the vaccine or else, the GOP is mobilizing to fight back while more mandates are in the works. As Church Milton's Hunter Bradford reveals, Biden's crackdowns on the unvaccinated may be far from over. We have the tools to combat the virus. Last Thursday, Biden revealed his six-step plan to curb the Delta variant of COVID-19. But according to U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy, Biden's not done. There will be more actions that we continue to work on, especially in the global front. Republican leaders across the country, including at least 19 governors and two attorneys general, are slamming Biden's new vaccine mandate. One of those pushing back is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a Catholic. When you have a president like Biden issuing unconstitutional edicts against the American people, uh, we have a responsibility to stand up for the Constitution and to fight back, and we are doing that in the state of Florida. However, the White House claims Biden's plans are thoroughly within the law. When a reporter asked Jen Psaki if the new mandate would stand up to legal pressure, she mentioned the 1970 Occupational Safety and Health Act. And the law basically uh, requires the Department of Labor take action when it finds grave risk to workers. And certainly a pandemic that killed more than 600,000 people qualifies as grave risk to workers. Small business leaders are frustrated with the new measures. Bob Roth, co-owner of a manufacturing business in Michigan, called it encroaching. Critics argue the White House has stopped fighting the virus and has turned its attention to fighting the unvaccinated. Hunter Bradford, Church Milton Evening News, Detroit. A global initiative against the unvaccinated could be discussed at the next session of the UN's General Assembly. It's tomorrow.